mom. All right, good morning. Um, we thought it would be cool to introduce ourselves and do a little thing. Sorry about the camera angle. We're gonna get a better um, hold up thing. Yeah, well, typical. Nice I'm late. It's a, it's every day. The the crowd needs to get used to this. But anyway, I'm Lise, and uh, I am the proud mother of this guy over here. Hello, I'm Connor Tomlinson. Yep. yep. Uh, and uh, these are car rides with Connor. Yep, car rides with Connor. Connor, just give a quick uh, little backdrop about you. Go ahead. Um, about me. Age, name, rank, all that. Me, I am 22. Who I? Who I'm the firstborn of four kids, and, and uh, I like like the genres of fantasy, sci-fi, I in action. Is it? Um, Okay with you if we tell everybody, you know, what you've been, what you live with? About me, sometimes I have been kicked around by life. Sometimes my siblings cause, well, namely my brothers, cause me a bit of grief during the day. And getting to work can be a bit of a hassle. Yeah, especially when you've got me at the helm. Um, also, just, is it okay if we tell everyone you have Asperger's? Yes, I have. I do have autism. I have Asperger's syndrome. Mm -hmm. well, that's not such a bad thing. I think, after all, It's not a bad thing at all. Oh, yeah. Actually, it's not a bad thing because instead of being, being a disability, autism is actually been believed to be the next step in human evolution and after living with you for 22 years I believe that yeah oh look it's the first day of school we get to yeah. bus stop people yes, let's roll the window down and wish them a great day yeah. Hang on. let's just be a little neighborly hold on a sec good morning have a great day have fun guys bye they're so big yeah. Ah. Okay. So anyway, that was our neighborly yeah. bucket. Yeah. Okay. So typically, you know, we're just we're thinking it'd be fun because every morning I drive Connor to work pretty early. We're supposed to be there at seven, and it being seven oh one, and we're just pulling out of the driveway is a little bit par for the course with us. Me, Connor's been ready forever. Don't get mad. What are you looking at? This chip. Ah. Oh. What are you looking at? My song. Well, just quickly though, um, we just we thought it'd be fun to film the rides because every day I kind of learn something new, and yeah. I'm going that way. Just go. Tell them the bus to go. Um, and I just thought it'd be fun because Connor brings so much joy to my day in these kind of every morning these 10 15 minutes that I just thought it'd be great to share to you guys out there in the world and have as much joy as I get with Connor T. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're just gonna film the good, the bad and the ugly, right Connor? Yeah. One of my main in concerns is, Mom, will you be able to pick me up this afternoon? I will, because I have today off. That We told you that was not, we took that concern off the table oh, yes, yesterday. Of course. Just, uh, just a little confirmation. Just checking, yeah. So anyway, me and my brother Jack have, I recently got my brother interested in a show that I think, think trumps the old show Avatar The Last Airbender. Or which, now bear in mind, I that show was pretty good, but not as. If you've ever seen Avatar The Last Airbender, you know oh, it has a sort of Asian theme to it, whereas The Dragon Prince is based on medieval Europe and more historically accurate, more or less. Um, I don't think it's accurate that they have a dragon name Hufflepuff or whatever that thing's name is. That's not That's not even accurate. close. But it's not accurate because in real life, Mom, there wasn't you know, such a thing. A glow fog. Actually, yeah. Actually, yeah. 
Uh, actually, Mom, contrary to that, uh, didn't you ever see the documentary Dragons, A Fantasy Made Real? Oh, I missed that one. Sorry. Don't listen. I actually believe dragons and are real. Or at There's least, a glow toad. Okay, maybe glow toads don't real, but dragons, it's, they, I have reason to believe they actually lived during the time of the dinosaurs, There's especially the Cretaceous period, it, but that was before the KT event, in which a meteorite the size of Mount Everest struck the earth. Goodbye, dinosaurs. There's, there's, on the land, nothing as big as a, nothing bigger than a cat could have survived. But in the sea, life found a way. As it turns out, the prehistoric dragon wasn't alone. It had a cousin, a marine dragon. Are you making this up? I, I swear to God, I am not making this up. All right. I'm surprised how very little people saw this documentary. It was on Discovery. I mean, it wasn't like a, you know, trending now kind of. No, this is it hot. wasn't why. It was a while back. Okay. Look, the point is, is a, probably a few years back in the Carpathian Mountains in Eastern Romania. Are those real? Yeah. Yes, Mom. Mom, the Carpathian Mountains are real. Okay, I'm. I am. You, here again, you, you know learning about something you, new every day. Do you know day. anything about geography or no. history? Apparently not. <sighs> Go ahead. The point is, some alpine skiers who were skiing up in those mountains accidentally stumbled upon a network of ice caves. What they found inside required the attention of science. Inside the ice cave, the scientists found... Wait, were the skiers scientists? Because that's just too much of a coincidence. No, they they called some old scientists over Mom. Hey, Did they have cell phone servers up there? Mom, am I going too fast for you? Probably, but did they have cell phone service in the ice caves? They, have, they probably had satellite phones. Okay, keep going. Anyway, scientists came, they explored the cave, and inside was a brutal medieval crime scene. The corpses of men dressed in 15th century armor. Those men did not freeze to death, they did not starve to death. They were burned. And how could they glean that? In the last chamber er, was something no one would have ever expected to find. A dragon carcass, perfectly preserved in glacial ice. Really? Did Why have, is this, is it so Did hard it to, have wings? Yes, it did. Did it have fire breathing ability? It was dead, Mom. Okay, but I'm sure they did an autopsy on it. They did. And did they find something to blow fire? As a matter of fact, they did. They opened up the dragon's mouth, and in the back of its throat was a fleshy valve, well, similar to one found in crocodile throats. It's called a false palate. Crocodiles and alligators have such a thing to keep water from flooding there. Is it really that no, hard to believe dragons it's not. are real? I just, you're, you amaze me sorry, every day. This is the whole point of wanting to do this because you're just a yes. source and a wealth of knowledge. Yes. Okay. Now, all I is do it is possible? piss you off. I'm sorry. sorry. I don't mean to. All right. If, if dragons had such a thing, it was most likely to keep their fire from scorching their lungs. Inside, they found... At the back of its mouth, they found molars, grinding teeth. Mm -hmm. There, a dragon's teeth, its most teeth mostly consisted of incisors, meat ripping teeth. Is that these? Yes. And at the back were molars, grinding teeth. For bone gnashing. Oh look, here's Karen. Oh Girl yeah. Walker Karen that we named. We and see the same walkers every day, so we've named this skinny lady Karen. And there's a couple up here that have And in the dragon's seen. molars, there's, they found traces of platinum. Of the metal? Yeah. Yes. So was there a dragon dentist that did fillings of platinum? No. Dra in fact, it was amazing. Dragons actually found platinum deposits. It's in rocks. They had great instincts. 
and they'd stop to eat it and gnash it between their teeth. And then a release of, of internal gas this combined with the spark of the plat platinum. You see, dragons required a catalyst in order to spark their fire. They grind <laughs> yes, their teeth together. They grind really interesting. What's they release the gas within themselves. The platinum um, creates a spark. The gas combusts. Dragons Where? can breathe. Where fire. did you see this documentary for real? It, back when we looked at our old house, we had a, had a box set of Discovery DVDs. Connor, that was like in 2006. Yeah. You were probably. Uh, I know this. Hold on. Not a trick question. You were probably. Seriously, you weren't even 10 years old. No. You were seven? How you, you remember all of that from seven years old? Yeah. And I remember, I, I did see that documentary a bunch of times. And you're probably wondering how dragons were able to fly. I'm actually wondering that. I don't remember what I did last week. There was actually this. a pair of leathery organs in the dragon's body. A similar to a pair of lungs. The flying part doesn't... I don't question that because birds fly and there was pterodactyls. A I dragon question, skeleton. They found I, the dragon's skeleton to be honeycombed like that of birds. See? So that I can buy. It's the, the fire breathing thing, but you explained it well. And of course, there's... They require her, her these leathery organs called flight bladders in order to carry gas. Okay, we're pulling into Connor's work. Um, he's responsible for the parking lot, cleanliness, and carts. He works at the local supermarket. And um, we usually, by the time we're doing this, we're pulling in, we're assessing the lot because he has about an hour to get the lot up to snuff. Oh, you don't have to come up here, do you? Because I see a can there. Mm. What's the boundary of where you have to clean? Uh, well, pretty much there. Oh, is that... Are you responsible for that? That's... Mm, I don't think look so. Look at... There's a bag. See, I told you last night this place wasn't oh. looking good. What, Connor? What? Mm, I don't know. What, it, what do you think please. about this? Right. I'm assessing the lot. I don't know about you. Yeah. What do you think? I was parked over here. See? Look at oh, that. What a bunch of pigs. Oh, she just gave me a dirty look. Jeez. All right. Here. All right. Well, good luck cleaning up this joint. Yeah. I'm going to park here. All right. You have a fabulous day. Text me. Fun. I'm off today and pick you up. Right. Okay. See you, Mom. All right. We'll say goodbye to everybody. Bye. Oh, so long, everybody. All right. Got to get to work. All right. Adios, amigo. Bye. Okay, so it's a glimpse every day. That's every day. That's what I get to uh, pick up to and the level I need to be at. So this is required for sure. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I do every morning. And um, I was thinking I'd do a little channel of some kind. I'm not that grown up. I'll have to get the younger kids to help me. But anyway, thanks for watching Car Rides with Connor. And uh, we'll put another one up soon.